Oh, that's not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjord map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get ourselves, uh, ourselves, <laughs> ourselves, a uh, second Giga Heart. Uh, this is the only Giga that I know of on this entire map. It's a 130 male, and so it's going to hurt big time. And so my plan is to use our Rex army. Uh, to take it out because I, you know, I, I don't want to take any chances, uh, you know, with anything less than that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I guess we're here. Let's, let's actually land down here and, uh, we'll get the Rex army out. I got them all in cryopods here in my inventory and, uh, then go after that giga and, uh, also, I have my wyvern, as you can see, and I've got it mostly leveled up. It's got 20,000 health, 2,000 stamina. Melee damage is a little bit low, but all of the rest of the points that I am uh, putting into the dragon is going into melee. Um, okay, so anyway, let me get these uh, rexes out, and then we'll go kill this giga. And then, depending upon how our time goes, we may go ahead and actually tackle the dragon in the second part of this episode. Okay, let's go ahead and have everyone follow. And you guys know me, I like to bring a, a gun to a knife fight here, so this is probably overkill, but this way we'll uh, make sure that uh, everything goes, hopefully goes, according to plan. Okay, so let's um, get some fire going on this guy. Okay, uh, Soldier 10 killed him. So Soldier 10 should have the the uh, the heart. That's the whole reason why we did this in the first place. Okay, everybody chillax. Soldier 10 is over here. There it is. Fantastic. You even got a level too. Look at that. Nice. Um, the plan is to use these Rexes for the Fenrir fight. We got a level two, nice. A couple levels. Some of these are probably just from sitting in, in cryo. Uh, all right, so cool. I'm going to uh, get these guys cryoed back up and, um, and healed up and all that kind of thing. And then I will meet you guys at the Dragon Arena, uh, or the portal into the Dragon Arena, and we will take on the Alpha Dragon. Look, looking forward to this. I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. We've got a very strong Therizino army, and I think we'll be able to make this happen. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are at the cave for uh, the dragon. Uh, we, this is where we are in lower left-hand corner of the map, uh, about eighty-seven and five, four, something like that. Um, yeah, I probably won't remember to make a GPS before the end of this series. <laughs> but anyway, um, this cave is pretty unmistakable. You can't miss it. For those of you who may not know where it is, and then just right down here to the left is where the teleporter is into the dragon fight. Uh, we've been in this cave uh, a few times before as well. Okay, so we're going to park the Arge there. And... Um, Got all of the the veggie cakes. Actually, you know what? Before we before we do the veggie cakes, let's get the all of the stuff in here just so I can lighten up a little bit. Um. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of it. Okay, so um, let's get the artifacts in. The uh, world boss artifacts. And then all of the tributes. Uh, incidentally, I found a whole bunch of basilosaurs in the northeast part of the ocean, uh, right off the redwoods. Uh, there was a whole mess of them. 
Cool. Okay, so we have everything we need to do the Alpha Dragon. But uh, what I need to do, of course, is I need to get all the veggie cakes in the theories and get the rest of the theories on the platform, too. So let me get that taken care of, and then I'll bring you guys back uh, when we're ready to go. All right, guys, I think we're ready to do this. Um, I've got all the the theories uh, with 10 veggie cakes uh, in their inventory. All of these theories are at least 21,000 health and at least 26,000 melee damage, and some of them are even higher than that, but that's the, the lower limit. And um, I think we're ready to go. We're going to ride Soldier 1, who I've already set to ignore group whistles. Uh, wait, where is Soldier 1? Soldier 1 should be right here. Yeah, so already set to yeah ignore group whistles. And so, you know, we don't have any date on. We don't have a UD. The advantage to that is that gives us two more damage dealers. The disadvantage, of course, is we don't have the healing or the buff. Uh, but these guys are pretty strong, and uh, I think we can make this happen. They all have very good um, ascendant level saddles of varying uh, stats, you know, based upon <clears throat> the... Uh, uh, I, I did a respec, in case you guys didn't see it, I did a respec and put all of my points into crafting and then made 20 of those saddles up. Uh, so they're all very, very good. And I, I think we can do this. Um, as far as myself is concerned, um, we've got some Kaylee and soup. We got some chowder for the health region. We got some that. Uh, we're gonna take some of this and some of this for the thingy. Um, and let's just take some water right now to kind of counter the that. And here we go. All right, guys. Alpha Dragon. Let's do or die, man. Took a lot of work to prepare for this fight, and hopefully, hopefully we can make it happen in our first shot. We're gonna find out here very quickly. Okay, so let's send everybody over there. Uh, okay, first of all, follow me. Now everybody go over there, except for Soldier One. Okay, good. And then what we want to do is try and avoid the fireballs. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of lava that we need to worry about in this arena. It's a little bit better than the island arena as far as that goes. We're just going to kind of run around until the, the dragon lands and hopefully avoid uh, the fireballs as much as possible. And we are going to have to watch out for... You know the ads, the uh, the uh, what you might call it, dimorphodons. Those are the ones we really need to be careful of because they can cause us some trouble. Okay, we're all grouped up. Everybody, get out of the way! Oh shit! No, go after the dragon. Okay, dragon's down. He kind of appears to be stuck too. Speaking of which, come on guys, get out of here. Okay. Oh crap, there is lava there. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, get out of the lava. Okay. So hopefully they'll, you know, they'll be able to eat all their veggie cakes and keep themselves healed. I didn't realize there was a lava thing there because he landed on the other side of it. But he also... He's also kind of stuck in this tree a little bit too, which is good. Alright, we got him down over half already. I think we're going to be able to do this. It's kind of fortuitous that he got stuck in the tree there. This fight's all about burning the dragon down as quick as possible, because the longer it goes on, the less chance you have of defeating it. But I think we got this. Oh yeah, we got this. Nice. Soldier 14 got the goods. Very cool. Look at all those tech ingrams we got, too. We got the pants and the chest piece for the... Uh, for the stuff there. Okay. Soldier 14, where are you at, dude? 
Oh, I can't even move. Well, that's okay. We can... We should be able to get it off of him later. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that there was a... Um, a lava thingy there uh, where the dragon landed, which was kind of sucked, but... We didn't lose anybody, so there's 14's way over there, but I can't get to it. Can I... I mean, it should be fine... Here we go. Nope. Wait. 14? Oh, do I have to get it off the dragon itself? Hmm. Okay, uh, shit. <laughs> I hope 14 has it. It said 14 and got the kill. Um, unless I was just not looking in 14's inventory. We got the flag. We got to get the trophy because we need it for the, um... Uh, for the final boss. Alright, where's 14 at? Over here. Oh, shit. Did, uh... 14 does not have the trophy. Did I misread that? We might have to do this fight again. Oh my god, really? You're killing me, game. Okay, let me, um... Let me see if I can tell if one of these guys has the trophy. I bet you maybe it was on the dragon or had fallen on the ground. I, I, I have item collection turned on, so let me figure this out and I'll bring you guys back in just a bit here. Okay, guys, um, here's the deal. I, <laughs> I, I went back and looked in the video and it most definitely said that it was Soldier 14 that killed the dragon. In every other boss fight that I have done in this series, the dino that killed the boss had the stuff every single time, 100% of the time. I can't explain while why Soldier 14, wait a minute, where the hell is Soldier 14? Uh, right here. Doesn't have, Soldier 14 doesn't have the trophy. It should, but it doesn't. Um, if I wasn't expecting that to have happened, I would have, you know, tried to check the dragon's inventory. But every single time I have done a boss fight, whether it's a world boss or an actual boss, the dino that killed the boss had the trophy. Um, and I can even go back and show you all the clips to prove that to anybody who doubts that. Um, I obviously killed the dragon. I've got the, uh, the alpha dragon. I've got the flag to prove it. You guys saw it earlier. And I just honestly don't have the time or the will to gather all of that fucking shit up again to do this fight a second time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to paste in this admin command, which I looked up. And we're going to press enter. And it should give us the trophy, but it doesn't. So, obviously, I am missing something. There we go. Okay, just had to make sure uh, to get the syntax correct. So we got the Alpha Dragon Trophy. So hopefully nobody's, um, uh, or hopefully everybody's okay with that. I mean, there's no valid reason for you not to be okay with that. Because um, I did all the work. I proved that I could defeat the dragon with this army. I just, for whatever reason, the game did not do what it has always done. Uh, in the past, and that is put the item in the dino that killed the dragon, which in this case was 14. And by the way, yes, I did check. It is not set to um, to disable item collection here. And it, if you guys know how that works, you know, once you cryo a dino and then take it back out, you know, that all resets anyways. So, yeah. I... Uh, so we defeated the dragon. <laughs> it's too bad we, it didn't happen 100% uh, 
the way it was supposed to, but I, you know, I, I feel completely justified in spawning that in because of the reasons I've already stated. All right, guys. Well, that takes care of the dragon fight. The final fight that we have to do here on Fjorder is the Fenrir fight, uh, which we're going to use our Rexes for. And so I think we probably have time to do that in this episode. So let's go ahead and uh, get set up and get ready to go to do that. I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to go into the arena for Fenrir. All right, guys, so we are back at the base. And just for posterity's sake, uh, we did set up the dragon trophy in the trophy room. And I put actually put the flag in here uh, because, you know, otherwise it clips through the ceiling. Uh, but we're going to, of course, have to pick those trophies back up in order to uh, do the final boss of the map. Uh, I thought what we might do here, though, too, is go ahead and make the tech armor just for the hell of it. Um, so let's go here. Uh, so we've learned the chess piece. So let's pull resources for one of those. And uh, except I guess it doesn't pull the element. And then we'll pull the resources for the pants as well. And that was weird. It gave us the element for that, but not for this. Now it did. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so that gives us then a, a full tech set of armor. Put that there. I've got the, the gloves in here. Uh, so this doesn't, this stuff actually, in terms of just pure armor, uh, doesn't make us as tough as, you know, the rest of the stuff, but it sure is badass looking. Check that out, man. That is awesome. Uh, okay, let's make sure that everything is fully charged. Uh, I know that the, the chest piece gives us, uh, you know, like a jetpack. I'm not sure what the legs do. I guess they probably just make us run fast, right? So let's make sure everything is fully charged. Uh, so I don't know how to activate. Uh, I guess we just use the space bar for the, for this. Okay, that's cool. Very cool. Nice. I love it. Oh, now it's just like... It was on, like, permanently for a second there. So that's like a, just a normal boost. Is there a way to just have it, like, hover? It seemed like it was hovering for a second there. Oh, the shift key has it hover. Oh, okay. So so the space bar is a like a turbo and the shift key just keeps it on all the time. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. All right. And then we should be able to land and not take any damage with the boots. Now, how do we activate the legs? Do we just, do we double tap that? Do we hold control? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so control gives us like super speed on the legs. Very neat. And then this is the, what the gloves do. It's kind of like a super punch. And we already know, of course, what the helmet does. Um, that's awesome. All right, neat. Yeah, so just holding down shift is like permanent hover mode there. And then, of course, we have our tech rifle as well. Except for, I don't know where the hell it's at. Did I lose it somewhere? I put it away on accident. It's not in there. Okay, so that's just great. Somehow or another, I seem to have misplaced my tech rifle. I always misplace things. I, I've noticed that sometimes when that happens, it's when I'm using the, you know, these key, uh, this button here to move everything into a place. Like my canteens were all going into my 
my um, crop plots and I couldn't figure out what the hell was happening to my canteens until I realized what was going on there. Okay, let's get a little more element in our inventory. Um, yeah, we'll keep that much in there. And shit, yeah, I don't know. God damn it, what happened to my tech rifle? <laughs> That's frustrating. Uh, usually I put my weapons in here that I'm not currently using, but I, they're definitely not in there. Uh, this is my weapons chest, but... Yeah, I would not have put those in there. So, I don't know. Somehow or another, I've lost it. Who knows where the hell it is. It's probably in one of my storage bins that I just accidentally, you know, put it in there. It wouldn't be in here, would it? I don't think so. I can't imagine a rifle going inside the fridge. These are just places I've recently put stuff into. No, nope, not in there either. Well, shit. Okay, it's gone. Whatever. Um, it kind of sucked anyways. It was really good, though, for busting over, open the Perlovia mounds. Uh, it was very good for that. So, okay. Well, anyway, I've got all the Rexes in my inventory here. And, um, we should, I think we're ready to go take Fenrir on. We just have to, like I said, we have to grab, uh, all of our trophies here. Uh, why is that not coming out? Unequip. There we go. Okay. So we'll get the dragon head. Megapithecus and Broodmother. Okay, so we got all of those guys with us. Fantastic. All right, guys. So let's go take on... In rear, the last boss of Fjorder. Uh, we'll probably just go up to the, the blue obelisk there since it's the closest one. And we can just fly up there ourselves. We don't even have to bring a bird with us. Okay, everybody appears to be into this circle here. As far as I can tell. And uh, let's see, where's the... This is Soldier... Soldier 1? Wait, no. Where's Soldier 1? Soldier 1's our guy. Soldier 5. Uh, where the hell did he go? We had a... I had a... A snowy owl attack, and then we started chasing him. But I managed to stop him before they all went, got off the platform. Uh, there he is, right there, Soldier One. Okay, so he should be set to, yeah, ignore group whistles. Okay, here we go. I don't really know much about this fight. I saw one. I saw it one time on YouTube, and honestly, I wasn't paying real close attention to it, anyways. So, I get. Can I get in here? There we go. Uh, what I know about the fight is that, you know, we have the big wolf, Fenrir, but then he brings in adds too, and that's about it. So we have no healing, we have no Daedon, uh, or uh, no UD, but these are very, very strong Rexes, and so hopefully we can burn them down. Here we go. Okay, um, everybody go over there. What a cluster. Right, let's get on Soldier 1. Follow me. Don't get in my way, though. Shit. Okay, can you guys just get over there? There we go. Okay. There, finally unstuck. This guy's gonna be tough. Ouch. 
got one Rex over there that's stuck on something. That gives us a, a slowing effect too. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Shit. Uh, how long does that last? Okay, just a couple seconds, I guess. Do I have to? How do? How does everybody get? Okay. Get that other Rex over here. Right here. Let's see if we can. Oh, he's dead. Shit. Alright, well, that sucks. He wasn't even attacking these guys, he was just stuck. Okay, let's burn this guy down. Well, that was kind of unfortunate. And we got him. Okay. You've been rewarded a Fenriri. Very nice. Um, I don't know who killed the guy. Can I just check his corpse? Okay, so you guys see I'm inside of Fenrir Sulphur's course, uh, corpse and there's not a damn thing in there. Uh, I couldn't tell who got the stuff because... Um, Nice. Okay, there's my wolf. Uh, I couldn't tell who got the stuff because there was like two different things that popped up at the same time. So hopefully we can find the trophy in one of these one of these guys. But yeah, that uh, it's unfortunate we lost that Rex, and it was just because you know he was trapped under those smaller wolves. And oh shit! Oh, make it to the saddle quick! I forgot. These saddles are so expensive. Got it. Okay. Whew. That was. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Okay, well, we recovered the saddle. Fantastic. All right, guys. We have finished Fjorder. We have conquered all of the bosses on the map. Oh, what a fun experience, man. I got to tell you what, this has got to be one of my favorite Arc Max I've uh, ever played on. Uh, you know, even granted, I haven't... Um, I took like a two and a half year hiatus from Arc before I started this series, but still, uh, even with that, out of all of the Arc maps I've played on, uh, this is definitely in my top, you know, two or three favorite maps. Just so thoroughly enjoyed this map. And, um, you know, we didn't do every single thing there is to do. Uh, one thing I didn't do is I never tamed a Shadow Main. I was, you know, kind of planning on doing that at some point, but it just didn't happen. And, you know, if Arc ascended was not out right now and already installed on my computer and waiting for me to start it. Uh, I would probably do a few more episodes and maybe tame a shadow main and, um, there we go. Look at that. Uh, tame a shadow main and maybe a 500 element. Oh my God. That's a lot of element. And, you know, maybe do a couple of other things, uh, too, before we completely wrap things up. Uh, I have, you know, I have some Magmasaur eggs, but I've never never actually raised a magma source so that would have been kind of fun but i tell you what you know here's the thing we can always come back to this map later when it becomes available for arc ascended and maybe do you know do it again and maybe do some of those uh things that we didn't do this time around but i, th I think you know for the most part we did uh definitely the lion's share of the things that there were to do on this map the places to visit you know we all, got all the artifacts, of course, that we had to, to do the bosses. Uh, we built a cool base and just had a really, really good time uh, here in this series. So uh, this, guys, is it. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, the series here, and I am going to immediately start uh, an Ark Survival Ascended series. Very much looking forward to that. And so hopefully you guys will come and hang out with me for that. And um, otherwise... Thanks, everybody, for hanging out today and uh, with this whole series. And I don't even remember what the hell the... Uh, here we go. Emote. F uh, Fury Vault? I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, so I just very much appreciate everybody for uh, hanging out and watching this series. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And we will see you guys in Ark Survival Ascended. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.